what's a council in 2025 going to look like? What do we need to do differently and, and how do we prepare the sector and, and the community leading up to that day? Civica, together with the UTS Centre for Local Government, have produced the Changing Landscape Report to help councils address current and future challenges. The Changing Landscape Report uh, was a very timely and relevant piece of research that we felt would be really useful to people in local government so they better understood the very massive wave of change that's coming, but also how they could start to respond to that, how they could start to understand it. Well, the report is largely being generated from uh, 250 respondents and giving us a view as to how they see the pressures. It's the first time in Australia that we've done that kind of research where we've really gone in and asked a whole series of detailed questions, asking the, the sort of senior leaders in local government to project themselves into the future. And it's come about through a number of reasons. Firstly, a lot of changes that are happening within local government space at the moment, which is uh, putting a lot of pressure on councils in terms of cost reductions and uh, efficiencies and driving efficiencies through councils. The report's a resource. It's, it's one of those tools out of the toolkit that you can now grab and select and, and use to help reinforce arguments or reinforce debate. In terms of that changing landscape, it's already upon us. I mean, you talk to anyone in local government and they'll say the only thing that's constant is change. Most councils, I think, are now starting to gear up to recognise there's a massive investment here that they need to make a reskilling, an investment in the right technology, the right software, uh, and finding partners who can help them through that kind of minefield to get, to get it right and use that money wisely. It's for all councils, but it's particularly useful, I think, for the, for the senior management in these councils to say, you're not alone, there's a lot of other councils feeling the same, and there are ways of tackling these various issues and opportunities that you can pick up ideas from other organisations and how to do that. We really need inspiring leadership where people can articulate, leaders can articulate where we're going and how we're going to get there. It's going to feel at times like a bumpy ride for, for staff and others along the way, but the evidence is that uh, if they're adaptable, if they're flexible, if they're willing to reskill and go with some of this change, there are real benefits for them. I think there'll be greater job security, greater job satisfaction, uh, and I think they'll be well rewarded at the end of the day because their value to the local community will be much clearer to the people who ultimately pay the taxes that pay their wages. The Changing Landscape Report analyses the six main factors that will shape the Council of 2025. Download the full report at civica.com.au.